Well, some people wear them, some people wear them, drink them, or they might even have them in their cars. And we're talking about military themed products. It's a growing market that sells much more than just military pride. From the halls of they try to capture the sounds, <laughs> sights, smells. It smells fresh. It smells clean. It reminds me of a cologne I used to like. Yes. Smells. Smell this one. Of the services. I think my wife should buy this. <laughs> It's perhaps the closest you can get without actually being in the military. You know, you don't have to be part of the military to enjoy the cologne. Whether it's to show support. Anything where you might see New York Yankees or Notre Dame, you can find military themed products also. Or whether you're born into it, there's no shortage of military merchandise. Tailgating gear, you know, folding chairs, rocking chairs, bar stools, uh, rodeo chaps, cowboy boots. And retailers are cashing in. U.S. Marine Corps merchandise, for example, sold about $20 million last year. And we're just talking about stuff that's licensed. This should not have the eagle of an anchor on an Army pattern. Exactly why each service has a trademark licensing office. It's just an example of the sorts of policing we have to do. Government trademarks are especially susceptible to misuse, partly because of the misconception that they're public domain which often leads to fraud. We found that the Marine Corps emblem is being used by fraudulent charities. You know, support the troops, donate your car, so, you know, support wounded warriors, and, and, and we have nothing to do with it. One vendor was caught making bogus honorable discharge certificates. There are companies out there that will sell a certificate to anybody who will buy one to say, I got the Medal of Honor or the Purple Heart or I was honorably discharged from the Marine Corps. So with hundreds of slogans, logos, emblems, even events like the Marine Corps Marathon, the Marine Corps Trademark and Licensing Office says it's constantly registering new trademarks, with at least 40 new ones in the pipeline. Now you see a lot more patriotism, esprit de corps being represented in products and, and merchandise. So to the extent to which royalty revenue can be used to help protect uh, Marine Corps and other military trademarks, it can also help go back to the troops. The revenue generated, which is about $1 million to date, goes to running the licensing office as well as troop morale, welfare, and recreation. Another bonus to the slew of military merchandise, possible recruitment. You know, a rising tide raises all boats. It's going to help the, the public awareness of the Marine Corps. It might even make a challenge to them. Are you one of the few of the proud? Could this be a good career move for you? And a platform to share service values. We're also working with a video game manufacturer to make a Marine Corps video game that isn't just a shoot 'em up, blow 'em up type of, you know, a game. It's it's going to instill uh, the responsibility that you learn in boot camp, the dedication, the you know, the commitment. Uh, the, you know, the battlefield ethics, if you will, the adherence to the Geneva Convention, the, the respect for civilians. And that's particularly relevant when not everyone understands those values. We've even had, you know, adult-themed toys, which we've, we've said no to, condoms we've said no to, tobacco products we're not going to license, uh, any number of things. They're, they're you know, wine we, we can't license. About a third of the licensees are veteran Marines who run small businesses and aren't charged royalties. Larger companies would pay about 5 or 6 percent and are encouraged to use hang tags for tracking and auditing purposes. The hang tags are going to tell the consumer, just like you might see official NFL merchandise or NCAA merchandise, this tells the consumer that this is an official product that's licensed by the Marine Corps. Something to look for the next time you decide to purchase merchandise in support of the military. Now we just happen to have some of those fine products we're talking about here. Uh, we'll try the Marine Corps scent. It's called Devil Dog, so let's check it out here. That's not too bad. Now, you know, the other services have theirs, but I'm guessing we're going to be the top seller. It smells pretty good, but I've been in the Marine Corps for 10 years, and i got to tell you, it's not what the Marine Corps has smelled like for 10 years. Coming up ahead on Around the Services, a soldier's story. We head downrange for a first-hand account of the war in Afghanistan 10 years later.